my channel. So firstly, today's trip is to Ikea. Don't know if you can see in the background, that is currently where I am sat in the car park, waiting to go in, preparing myself really. We're just coming out of lockdown, so um, Ikea has just opened back up. Um, there's quite a queue and I've, I've taken the afternoon off work to try and get there before kind of the rush maybe after work or I'm not going on a weekend either because that just stresses me out way too much. Um, but there are a few bits that I need to get for myself and for my mum. So um, I'm not going to film when I'm in there because that's just another hassle in itself. Um, but I'll definitely let you know what I pick up. <laughs> going on and just look rough it's been a long day um i feel like ikea really takes it out of you although even if you're just walking around and it's not like it wasn't even that busy to be honest with you um but it's just like there's no air and yeah i'm just tired now but i wanted to show you all the things that i picked up um, before I kind of put them all out in the room um, I'll obviously point them out when I do put them up in the room because I've still got like decorating and stuff and bits bits and pieces to do but I thought I'd just run through it with you now and I've got like receipt here and I can just say prices and stuff in case you want to go and pick them up like quite a few people have said to me actually that they're going to go to Ikea like next week or in the next couple of weeks um, so you might see something here that you might want to pick up i haven't i hadn't got loads to be honest with you a lot of the stuff that i really well not really wanted but a lot of the stuff that i wanted was completely out of stock um i kind of went to the end bit where you pick up the bigger items like a mirror the, all like the two shelves that i wanted um i think that was it actually for the bigger items not there so I'm gonna have to go back which is really annoying because you know it's a process in itself but yes I digress anyway so I'm gonna just show you the things that I did pick up so where's my receipt firstly okay so I got some stuff for my mum as well oh god how am I gonna work out what everything is because it's got those they've got the funny names haven't they Okay, I'm just going to have to try and work it out. So, picked up, let's just go in order of what is in the bag really. So I picked up this. Now, you can't actually tell what it is from me just showing you. And I will show you when I unpack it and put it in the room. But it's basically one of those, it's like um, a set of six different um, like boxes. And they basically are like just they, they fold out and you can put them in your drawers and then um it's just a way of organizing things so there's like two larger ones two more rectangular ones and then two smaller ones um so i'm going to use them in my like underwear drawer um my like makeup and jewelry drawer um, i'm not sure what one will go in which but i'm just going to try and play around with that i'm probably going to put the two rectangle ones kind of next to each other um probably in my underwear drawer and have like my underwear split into two then in those two in one drawer i have to see what fits and things but yeah um i thought that would just be really handy to get a bit more organized in here so i'll show you that when i unpack that at a later date or whenever i do it this is okay so hang on what was that organizer Okay, I actually remember, I can't. I, I can remember without looking at the receipt, that was £5 because there was a sign on it that said it was £6 last year, I mean great bargain, £1 off, but there we go, anyway, um, so yeah, down to £5 which was good. So now this is a, like, um, coat, coat hooks on like a piece of, how do I even describe it, a coat, like coat hooks, 
but not individual they like attach to a piece of wood and then you put the wood on the wall and it's got the coat hooks on if that makes sense so at the moment as you can see right by here i've got like a big coat stand but eventually I want to put a desk in here and there just isn't enough wall space along this wall behind me to have a coat stand, a wardrobe, this chest of drawers. There just isn't enough room for it. So I'm going to get rid of the coat stand and then put these, this up in the hallway um, and have my coats hanging off that instead. So that's the plan with this. And again, I will show you when I put that up. Uh, that was £6. Quite good, I thought. For, and I think there's like six hooks on it um, and I just preferred it to have in like so I've also bought so three little ones um, and they, so they're not attached to wood they're just four so I'm going to put one on the back of the bathroom door one I've got like a, a boiler cupboard in my um, bedroom put one on the other side of that and then one probably i've got a storage cupboard in the hallway as well so i'll put one on the inside of that and that'll be for like um so my dressing gown can go on in the ba bathroom um maybe like just maybe like my less pretty coats i don't know can go then on the inside of the doors and then this can be kept for like the coats i wear all the time and my favorite coats so that's the plan so i can get rid of that coat stand really it's, it's falling apart anyway to be honest with you it's like I've put so many coats on one side of it and it's like like bent the bottom of it yeah it's not great but there we go so then they were two pound um and then you just so you just screw them straight into the door rather than having them on a bit of wood um okay this I I love this so in my bedroom you'll soon see when I get it decorated and everything but I'm going for like a gold and green and like beigey kind of colours and white obviously but gold and green are like my the, the colours that I'm taking most inspiration from um, and I saw this so it's a tea light holder but you don't even need to put a tea light in it like I'm not, I don't really like tea light light tea lights that often like I like them but I just don't like them um, I thought this was really cute so it's like got a little hook thing a handle on it I'm probably not going to use the handle I'm just gonna when I get the shelves and when I get them put up put this on one of the shelves and obviously if I do want to like one of the tea lights it would look really really pretty um but yeah I just really liked it and I did have an idea when I was in there because there was a lot of things that I really liked which weren't in the colors that I wanted like gold or green and I thought I could get anything and just spray it, especially with gold. Like, yeah, so I'm, I might experiment with that at some point. I'll let you know if I do. But I really liked it, so it's staying. That's another thing with Ikea. I very rarely take things back. Um, once I buy, I buy because it's just too much hassle. Um, okay, so I also got... Two of these so they're just um you can put anything in them really and that's why i got two again going with the gold theme so if you look at them together you can see the kind of vibe i'm going for so i got these two now what were these five pound each so ten pound for the two um and i'd seen these like dotted around on shelves um, like earlier in the store and I was like oh my god I need to find them I need to find them I thought I must have passed them like I didn't think for some reason that they'd be in the plant section I don't know where I thought they'd be to be honest with you but yeah they were in the plant section five pound each they had them in loads of colors actually but obviously I went for the gold um, and I also got this so this is a fake little plant now, I'm obsessed with plants at the moment more fake than real because I'm not very good at looking after real plants um, and I really want to get one which um, would sit in this and kind of like hang down and then it's going to come down the shelf that's the plan but this one I'm not a fan of the black um, pot so I just tested it out by putting it in and it looks really good 
like people buy fake plants looking like that so i mean it's a bit small and it is wobbling around but when it's just sat there nicely like can we just appreciate like this this could look nice so that's gonna go on one of the shelves and then i might use this for my makeup brushes because i feel like putting this on one of the shelves as well is gonna just look too much um, and a candle like you're not gonna be able to see the candle in it um so yeah i think that's quite a nice brush for makeup a uh, pot for makeup brushes we'll see i'll find a home for it anyway i just wanted to get two because i thought it was really nice um, so they, they were five pound each, um, and then I got this. Nothing to do for the bedroom. Um, I just thought it would come in handy, really. Um, it was a pound, and sometimes a sponge just doesn't do the job. So I thought something with bristles might help. <laughs> It's really sharp actually i can feel it like that's gonna be really good for washing up only a pound so yeah got that and then my my oh no i've got two more items i'll show you the boring one first so for the shelves which i need what i'm going to get and i need to get um i needed to have uh these like special like the specific wall fittings um, i don't know what they're called actually right here. Mm, no they're like um the plastic like wall fittings that you put into the wall first and then you put the screw or whatever in that um it's for like plasterboard so that the plasterboard doesn't like rip down anyway they had a box of these in ikea so you get the plastic wall fittings in three different sizes and then three different sized screws, nails, whatever you want to call them. Um, I've got a lot of nails already, to be honest with you, and I shouldn't really have bought this. I should have just got something with the plastic fittings separate, maybe which might have been cheaper. But it was there and I just got tempted in. And you can never, like, at least I know now I don't have to buy nails for ages so that's a bit boring but it was needed how much was it Sorry. six pound oh gosh i look very tired now after that yawn um six pound for these screws and plugs that's what it says on the receipt so that's what they're called is plugs um six pound for that and i'm gonna put quite a, quite a lot up on the wall so it's gonna come in handy um okay and then the last piece for me was this um i don't really know what it's called bottle with stopper yeah i could have guessed that so it's just one of these ones that you flip up like that and i just think it's really nice to have in um the fridge with just water um just water chilling really for like when people come round um or even for yourself and you just keep refilling that then because i like cold water water like out of the tap doesn't really do it for me um i don't know how to get that back on now oh there we go so yeah i thought that would be really handy and it was only two pound I thought that like two pound for that was a bargain and they obviously have loads of like mason jars as well which thinking about it I do want some mason jars because I've got a, um, one of the walls in the kitchen is a bit bare and I was gonna have like a shelf on it just with like the mason jars of like pasta oats flour that sort of thing on the shelf mainly for like decoration purposes but that can come at a later stage as well I want to get the bedroom sorted first so I say that as I pick up something from the kitchen for the kitchen, but this is going to go in the fridge with water. Just a really handy thing to have, I think. And then the final two things which I got were for my mum. Um, so I got these standard IKEA glasses. So she's just moved house and um, had a massive clear out, and also she realised that she'd given a lot of um, glasses and stuff to me and my brother when we went to like uni and just never really replaced them because it was like just her and my dad so 
I wanted to get her some new glasses. So I got her quite a lot of these um, just to fill up her cupboard with them. Um, and I also the same with cutlery. She said that she's literally got no cutlery basically. And when I went home to visit, oh my God, it was just a nightmare. Like it's okay for her when she's there on her own. But when me and my brother are home visiting, um, when me and my brother are home visiting, it's just not practical to be sharing like two forks between the three of us. It was just not gonna happen. So I've treated her to some, to some new cutlery. I know, top daughter, but there we go. Um, so yeah, she'll have some new cutlery and some glasses when I go home next. And actually, this video will be out after that, probably, after I've been home. So um, this will be a surprise for her. So yeah, that's all I got from Ikea. Um, so these are 50 pence each, which again is a bargain, I think. Let me just check, are they 50 pence each? Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, no, 50 pence each. They are 50 pence each, which, again, bargain. Ikea do such a good range of um, glasses, actually. They, like, a lot of the glasses, like, they do champagne, Prosecco, martini, margarita. These glasses, stemless wine glasses, normal wine glasses, they do everything. I could have bought loads, actually, because I do want to get some cocktail um some like margarita and martini glasses because I do want to do like a cocktail night at mine one night um but again that can weigh like I didn't want to spend all my money I literally got paid yesterday like and that's such a me thing to do get paid and then I go out the literally the next day and spend all my money and then for the last like three weeks of the month I'm like I'm so poor that's basically me um so I tried to just get things that I needed rather than that I wanted and would need in the future okay guys so i went to edit this vlog and i did realize that i actually hadn't um mentioned another item which i picked up in ikea which was this plant now my girls got me a plant when i moved into this flat back in november and unfortunately i didn't really look at well i did try to look after it but i went home for lockdown for like four weeks and um yeah didn't end up looking after it as well as I probably should have so I've replaced it with this one this was £10 I kept the pot which the girls get got me from Ikea as well which is just like this grey pot um, but then I bought this plant I really really like it and um, I need to get a little table for it to go on really or get the TV up on the wall potentially and this just next to it um, and then these are the shelves which I want more of um, so I've got these two here at the moment just on this wall um, but I really really want a longer one for the hallway so one that kind of comes maybe like this long it's quite a long one that I've seen um, and then maybe some even smaller ones like half a size just for the bedroom and um, but I really really like them these were like nine pound or six pound or something so really really good value for money from Ikea and yeah I just really really like them so I didn't pick them up on this trip to Ikea but they are the shelves that I was referring to um, earlier on in the video and then yeah I just wanted to show you the plant really. So those are all the items that I picked up from Ikea on this trip. Like I said I have got some more bits to pick up um, and I do want to be putting all of this into my bedroom and putting it all out in the flat so um, yeah that'll be coming up in a vlog soon but I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.